I know you guys have been itching and waiting and just like, oh, boohoo, cry, cry, that you haven't had Don's Dimes in your life um, last couple of weeks. So I'm going to throw this in, this one in. Uh, today I saw a clip of Dwayne Wade's digital show podcast. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Dwayne Wade's new digital show. And he had um, uh, Chris Paul on there, CP3. I'm a huge fan of, and I think he has an amazing uh, fashion sense. I like the way he dresses, but that's neither here nor there. And uh, they made a very uh, – CP3 and Dwayne Wade, uh, I guess, at their attempt for shock value, uh, made a, a statement that I don't believe, one, but it, it, it inspired Don's time. So he basically said that there was an opportunity for the big three to be LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Paul. But Chris, Chris Paul couldn't agree on not having the number three. And I thought that was hilarious because I'm like, oh, you're, you stopped your championship aspirations for a number. Okay, CP3. Okay. But that, that brought on my Don's Dines for Rudy and Nick. If you guys could have any whisper or hypothetical trade that was going on back then to happen, what would it be? And I'm going to give you some examples. I remember I'm talking first three OBJ years, best receiver we've ever seen. There were these whispers that Bill Belichick was going to trade for him. I thought, oh, my God, Tom Brady and OBJ. I saw what he did with Randy Moss. That's a hypothetical, right? Two, I'm a Bulls fan. This one almost came to life. Oh, man. Um, you took my. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. 2011, Greg Rose comes from back from his injury. Carmelo Anthony's up. For free agency, comes to Chicago. He chooses to go get the bag, whatever, Carmelo. That was a hypothetical one I really love. One of the most infamous ones, rest in peace, David Stern, uh, CP3 to the Lakers with prime Kobe. They shut that down. So if there's any one, and, and it could be one I, I, I didn't name, but if there was like this one possible, in any sport, by the way, in any sport, a hypothetical trade you heard about in the past that you, you could have made happen, what, which one would it be? Uh, let's see right here. Dame Lillard to the damn Heat. So I'm a Heat fan. Damn it, I said it. I wanted him bad. I would have gave up everybody on the damn roster for him. Right now, I look back, I'd probably say no. But, yeah, I wanted to see him with Bam, Jimmy, and I wanted him to see him with Duncan. I, that was, that's something I was literally hyped for. They, they presented it to us all offseason that it was going to happen. Dame said, I'm going to Miami. That's the only place I want to be. And then... Right in my heart, he ended up in Milwaukee. And he, he still wants to be in Miami because he just told us the other day that he wants to play with Bam. Him and Bam are good friends. So that's a trade. I think from Don Dimes, you just threw it at us like you had me thinking real quick. I would have loved to see that one and another one. I, don't, I know it's a big one. No, you can't have another one. You can't do two. Rudy, I listen to you. I ain't get one out yet. I listen to your pie hole. For all of this podcast. But if you take the one I'm looking at, then the shit, I got nothing. All right, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can have it. You can have it. Go ahead. Go Kobe ahead. Bryant to the Bulls. Oh, that, that's, that's where I thought Donald was going. That's Kobe where, Bryant to the Bulls. See, I didn't get a chance. To, I was, that was because I was going to give mine after that, you. So I was, was going to take yours. Well, you gave like three before that, I thought. <laughs> no, those were examples. So you guys knew where to go with the dimes. I was well, going to mine. Would be, my, I remember when Kobe was crying about being traded. And mm -hmm. Kobe wanted to get traded because they weren't giving him the help. And the, I mean, the possibility of being traded to the Bulls for Luol Deng, Joachim, Joachim Noach, Ben Gordon, and Tyrus Thomas. It's not about who you're traded for. It's about where you're being traded to. And playing as basically a carbon copy of Michael Jordan and to go to the Bulls. That's crazy. That would have been fucking insane. I would go. That, that would have been insane. I would go with that. That's crazy. Well, you should have you sort of started with that over the day. But, but I'm a Heat fan, so fucking I'm going to go about what my heart wants rather than what the NBA wants to see. I, 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 mean, that, to see is, I mean, yeah, I, I wanted to see what you wanted to see, but I'm just, I had to Google it real fast. <laughs> Okay, okay. I, I like that. The Kobe, Kobe to Chicago. I remember that was 2007. He was actually looking at houses in Chicago, by the way. That's how close he was to Probably sign. Probably even to buy Michael Jordan's house, huh? Um, yeah, there was a lot going on. I'm going to give you guys minds. And this is a lot more recent. A lot of people don't know, before t these two gentlemen signed one place, they were going to sign somewhere else. I would have loved to see 
Kyrie and KD sign with the Knicks. They were going to sign with the Knicks. And they chose to go to Brooklyn. Uh, this was before Leon Rose was there. This, this was when the Knicks were still kind of mismanaged. And KD recently said it on a show, one of his shows for the boardroom, that the Knicks weren't cool to play for at the time. Uh, they weren't a hot team. But we all know there's two IPs, two brands that move the needle in the, the NBA. It's the Lakers and the Knicks. And no matter what we think about Knicks fans, shout out to Boozer, our brother. It's exciting when they're good. Um, but they haven't been legitimately like lethal since the 90s in my bull. So that would you know why Kate, you're frozen. I, I, I can't hear anything. Yeah. Can you hear me now? You, you know the problem with KD, realistically. He's too soft. He couldn't... Go, if he had gone to the Knicks, they would have made him quit and pack his bags in three months. No way. Because he's just... Huh? No way. No way. It took him three years in Brooklyn. Brooklyn's not getting the same type of coverage that the New York Knicks are getting. Come on. But, yeah... He, he, would, he would have been whining so fast with the New York papers really railing on him if they're not doing well. Like, that guy's a crybaby. You know, he's just a massive crybaby. So, yeah, I would have loved to have seen it to see how he reacts. But I'm I, I, in my in my mind, I think he's probably the one that stopped it. You'll never hear it. No but way. I think he probably stopped no it. way. Kyrie mm -hmm. definitely. Everybody I think Kyrie's more. I think it was more of a come Kyrie. Come on, Kyrie always ran the ship in the show. Kyrie, yeah, which, Katie, which means that Katie's not a leader. Which we know that. But everybody, Katie's just going to hoop. I don't have a problem point, with that. Another, another my huge. problem with Katie. Go ahead, bro. My problem with my problem with KD is he let the media get into his head to leave Golden State. He would have been a top five player in the history. He would have had five championships right now. He played with Steph. He played with one of the best players. I don't care what nobody say. Every great team that won a championship, they won because they had great players. The Lakers had Magic, Kareem, Worthy, Byron. They had a plethora. They had a plethora of players. You had. You had the Bulls who had the best rebounder of all time, the Scottie yeah. Pippen. Like, every team wins like that. I don't think Golden State was that hyped up to be like everybody made them out to be. You had you had Steph, who was a top 10 player of all mm. time. You have Clay, who isn't a superstar. He's a star. He was a shooter. Couldn't put the ball down on the ground. And you have Draymond, who's a glorified role player. He's going to be in the Hall of Famer. Like, you I, Rudy, I've been said he's a role player. Steph make all these people. He's being a Hall of Fame. He's a role player. Uh, but that's what it is right now. Just because, just like Dennis Rodman, we all be in the Hall of Fame either. We have <laughs> argument all the time that these players yeah. are not Hall of Fame players, but they were, they were top role players on teams that won multiple championships and they did such a certain thing good. But if you put them on a on a fucking the Sacramento Kings back then on a sorry team that they'll still average four points a game and eight assists, they'll be terrible. They're not. Superstars, they're not somebody, they're not better than Tracy McGrady, they're not better than Dwight Howard, but those they're they're gonna be in the Hall of Fame because of who they were. But Draymond was a glorified role player, so they only had one superstar when he went and joined them, and then another star and a role player. But everybody made it seem like they joined a team that had 10 freaking. No, the problem was that he joined a team that had 73 and wins that he had it. just lost to, and they just lost to them. And he kind of and and the attitude was like you just punked out of competing. And I got and look. My problem with him was that he let Draymond Green run him out for calling him a, calling him a bitch. Like you let that bother you so much that you left to go play in Brooklyn. I think it was multiple things, and, man. I and, think, and, and, I... Well, he and he's soft. That's what it is. He's soft, and surviving the New York Knicks is hard. I I think that he actually wasn't soft. I think he actually wanted to rewrite the narrative of that he had to win with a super team, and he wanted to go out and kind of do it on his. Own in his own little way, rather than doing it with the Golden State Warriors. So I don't think well, he was soft in that. He's aspect. failed. He did fail, but I'm, he's failed. I'm, I'm not failed mad. and I'm, failed and failed and failed. Okay, but he did. He did put himself out there in an unsoft way. Really. And now he's playing with two stars again, and he's failing. They traded. I mean, Brad Brad Beal's always hurt. They traded for but, him. He didn't make the trade. But he tore, he forced the trade. Come on. Bradley Bill made it. The, 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 the owner, they got it, you know, with the agent. They had a whole little Kevin thing Durant on. forced the trade. He wanted to go to a team that had players. No, I'm talking about how they got Bradley Bill. I'm not talking about no, that. No, I'm talking about, but, but, but he was involved in that. He, you think that he wasn't involved in, in that trade? Like these guys? He, he, I mean, probably he okayed it, but I'm not saying that he 
went out there and pushed it to get Bradley Bill. Uh, well, he pushed it to get to Phoenix to play with Devin Booker. So, I mean, you know, I don't think he would have survived the Knicks. But I'm sorry. Go ahead, Don. Yeah, Take it away. That. But um, we're going to wrap up Don's times. Uh, this one was, was, was a fun one. I'd like to see you guys head spinning. Rudy, you gave me nostalgia and you kind of broke my heart thinking about the Kobe to Chicago. I would have loved to see that. Um, and he would have picked number 24, like, as a, at a shot at Michael, which would have been so dope. 